welcome to the manhood manenos show my name is peterson kimche and uh, i welcome you once more to this particular show and this is where we talk about issues uh, relating or issues that can help and empower the boy child and even the man and uh, there was a season and a time uh, whereby we were talking about uh, or, the, or rather there was this uh, story about the boy child and the boy child the boy child how he is being affected and how the boy child needs help and i remember telling my friend that the boy child who is being spoken about is not the young boy who is in primary school today but the boy child who has issues and who needs more help is the boy child in my generation because we are the fathers now we are the fathers of these teenagers so if we don't get it right as fathers we are going to pass on the wrong baton to our children so in my view the person who needs help to empower the boy child is not the five year old today but it is the this man who is over 35 years old because he is the one who is now a father uh, about seven years ago i embarked onto this particular journey because i was in a phase whereby i was struggling uh, personally as an individual i was struggling as a man i needed to find myself i was uh, wondering am i good enough what does a man need to do to be to become a responsible man and what does a man need to do or to become even to be uh to leave a legacy even to his children and for his children and then in, in that particular season i was also going through some emotional uh, wounds if I may call them that because I realized I was a bit bitter with my dad not for something he had done against me but it's something that he had not done and that whatever he had not done probably it will come up in my topic today uh, it left me wounded and I didn't know that I was suffering for it so uh, today is my day to open up Kufungua Moyo and I believe that somebody else here will also get helped and um, I bumped onto a small booklet by one Pastor Simon Bevy called Dad is Destiny. So the nuggets that I'm going to share with us today, I learned from that particular booklet. They helped me. They continue helping me even today because I consider myself a student of life. Because in life, akunaga atile kufika, tiumefika. You are a student of life. So I have been learning and I want to share what I have been learning with you, my viewer. But just before I continue, I ask you humbly, kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, click the bell so that next time we post the next video you are going to be notified so uh, today's topic is the role of a man I'm at the role that man plays in our last episode we saw that man is the source we saw that father is uh, the foundation of the family we saw that father is responsibility to be a man or to be a father it's not about seed it is about responsibility and we also saw that there are four different categories of how we were fathered there are people who are unfathered there are people who are uh, misfathered there are people who are underfathered and then there are people who are well fathered but irrespective of all that all of us have one ultimate father who is God in heaven. And irrespective of how the past has been, there is always a time and a day to make a turnaround. And my prayer is that that day to make a turnaround, it is going to be today. Feel free to share in the comment section of what you are learning so that we can grow together. Um, I'm calling this the five P's of a man. The five P's of a man. These five P's signify the role that men should play and when i talk about men i am cognizant of the fact that there's there's someone who is watching this and you are a lady don't switch off you are at the right place why am i saying this because in my mind i know that being a father is not about gender being a father is about responsibility actually in quotes there are some women who are better fathers than men Yes, there are some women who are better fathers than men because fatherhood is about responsibility. And then again, all of us are impacted by women. So it is very important for women even to listen to this because uh, every, every person, you, 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 have a, you are surrounded by a man in your life. You have a grandfather, you have a father, you have an uncle, you have a son, you have a cousin, you have a workmate who is a man, and probably they are struggling with issues from their childhood that were caused by their daddies, 
and they need healing and you can be the channel that God is going to use to heal them because we saw that from our previous show you can click back and watch that when a, a child gets insufficient quantities of their father they suffer emotionally and we call that daddy issues so you see that people go through life suffering emotionally because of daddy issues but there is uh, a solution to that so let me embark on um, what fathers should do the role that a man or a father should play in the life of the children and here i'm speaking to both male and female genders i hope by now you understand where i'm coming from number one it is presence 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 kukua see your presence is a wadi presence kukuwepo uh there are many people who or rather many parents bring up their children with presents not presence and they think that when you buy gadgets for your children that you're really taking very good care of them and that is a disaster so the number one role a parent or the number one role a father should take is presence and especially during the first uh, 12 years of a child's life they're very formative and what is needed in those particular years it is um, quantity time because a child needs both quantity time and quality time quantity time is the amount of time that you spend with a child and quality time mostly that um, applies in the life of uh, maybe teenagers and young adults and even adults and grown-ups because if you have a parent you definitely need to spend some time with them but um, the formative years are very critical if you do not spend time with your child by by the time they are between 1 and 12 years you will have lost them you will try looking for them and finding them after 12 and you will not find them there's a good friend of mine maybe na zampatia shout out and i to raf if you don't take care of your children at this young age wakishafika teenagers utakuna wakimbiza na maombi tu maombi tu because wezi wapata so when your children are young take very good care of them when your children are young be present with them be present be there and um, how do you become present uh, or, or rather the value of presence is you gain connectivity you connect learn to connect with your children learn to connect with your children that is very important and connection is what brings about memories what your children will be talking about when they are in their teenage when they are older they will be remembering ah certain saturday we know we used to do this with my dad or with my parent so connection is uh, is very important and then something else is that you need to do <coughs> activities together you need to do activities together with your children and then you need to be available there are some parents who who never even attend the the meetings of their of their children when they have a school meeting they never attend there are some parents the only thing they do is pay school fees but they never go to visit that is very uh, that is not very nice so it is important for you to be available for your children for you to connect with them and for you to create memories so presence is very important point number two what a man or a father should do is provision and provision comes from the root word is pro and then the okay sorry the root word is vision and then there is pro pro vision so the most important component that you should have as a father parent is vision what is vision Nikikuliza vision in nini? Vision is a vivid mental picture or representation of where you want to go or where you want to be. By then, apatango kiangalia mta, utapatango wale mabad boy, mabad boy hivi, awako sangi madem. Kwa nini? Because madem, wanapenaga matali wako na vision. Uneza pata boy ni msawa, kwa sawa anafanya jobu poa, lakini, la, lakini anaga vision. Na sasa kama ana vision, manzi hata kupata dem ni hada. Uneza pata boy fulani wa mtani, ya postori zake tu ni za uongo, lakini ziko na vision. Hata na danganya dem, ati venya nita kubaya ndege, nita kujengia re, nini, nita kubaya mbaka train na helicopter and all that. Ni za uongo, lakini ya kona vision. And that makes a big difference. So what am I saying here in, on, on a serious note that vision or rather that mental representation of where you want to be, where you want your family to be, it is very important. And provision is providing. So provision comes after the vision. Sometimes you can God to bless, but you have vision. So what is important? Kitu ya kwanza ni vision. You have to give it to na hauna vision hiyo ndio itakuangamiza and we have seen that happening kuna watu wa, kuna watu wa inherit vitu mob from their parents but if they don't have vision 
that that wealth hoina wa destroy na kuna watu wengi wame grow up in abject poverty lakini wako na vision kuna ile kitu wanaona at the uh, in their head and they aspire to get that and god makes it happen so my encouragement as fathers is we need to have a vision we need to have a vision that is very important and a vision is uh, that vivid mental picture of where you want to go and where you want your family uh, to get to something else is that you need to take care of the needs of your family you need to take care of the needs of your family and you also need to think investment wise also that is very important as a man something else is that you need to plan for your finances also and uh, when a man can't provide for his family it crushes him many men that you see crush it is because they can't provide for their families so uh, that that needs um, you need to have a vision and there's a different okay uh, that this does not necessarily mean having so much money but it, vision mostly refers to leadership because in the world that you are living in you will find that there are some ladies who are earning much more than men that's okay because they have been empowered but as a man are you providing leadership in your space are you providing leadership and direction on how you're going to invest as a family on how you're going to take care of whatever needs uh, needs to be taken care of so that is very important and also something crucial here is that as a man as a man you need um, you need another brother that you can run to or that you can call when you are in trouble do you have a man or a brother that you can call or rely on when in trouble that is very important so that is p number two p number one we have said it is presence p number two it is provision p number three it is protection as a man you need to protect your family you need to protect them sile tu ati umewajengea ukuta ya huko nje hapana you need to protect their health by watching how they eat you need to protect their even kama ni watu wiku protect their their what they feed emotionally and what they feed even from the TVs and all that but even controlling what they watch you also need to pr to protect them from danger you need to protect them from spiritual attacks you need to protect them even from social media protection 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 is very important uh, something else number four is that the man is the priest mara nyingi hapa mendo huwa tunaanguka because we leave that role to be played by other men i have nothing against pastors but the primary pastor for your home should be you as the man and the ladies that are watching this kindly encourage the men in your life to take up that role for some reason uh, i don't know why because even me sometimes i struggle in that but i get a lot of encouragement from my wife so i would encourage the ladies watching this encourage the men in your life they could be your sons they could be your husband but encourage them even to take up that role men thrive when they are encouraged men thrive when they are celebrated man please make sure that the the environment in your home for prayers is ripe and it is nice and take the lead lead your family into prayers us e biashara yao ya mwanaume kusema gat nimetuma wife na watu wa church wakatuombe there is a space for you na wewe utaenda kuombea watu wako na wife yako lini kindly take up your role and then something else in uh, under priesthood is that men are trainers men are tra and we know that okay most men love watching sports and you know that akuna sports personality and are making into the big scene without having gone through some form of training the same case applies to your family how much time are you spending training your children to become what they want to become in future usi delegate kila kitu kwa shule usi delegate kila kitu kwa shule there are those values especially values there are those values that can only be inculc inculcated by the father or by the parent kwa hivyo uh, fellow men let us uh, let us offer training let us offer training and something else that we need to provide uh, are sacrifices sacrifices are very important teach your children teach your family to give to the needy and to the less fortunate teach them to give it is very important uh, point number four is that a man should be the prophet of their home the prophet what does it mean to be a prophet to be a prophet is to call out the greatness in your children usiku wewe ndio mwanaume alafu kazi yako ni ku degrade na ku demean watoi wako or even your wife 
ati wewe ndio unawaambia sasa wewe wewe ni bure you will amount to nothing and all that no a man should be the prophet of their home call out the greatness in your children call out the greatness even in your spouse call out the greatness even in your brothers because you are a prophet and they will become that which you call them to become and on this i would urge also the, the women because almost everything a man does he will do it because of a woman so if you are the woman uh, listening to me and there is this man in your life encourage them to be a prophet encourage them to speak positive encourage them to speak great things in life so uh, men 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 when men take up their role when men perform these five functions and these five roles everyone is happy in the society you know when a man is present when a man has provided for his family when a man is the priest when a man protects his family and his community when a man becomes the prophet of his children of his household of his community everyone in the community is happy so let us understand that there's a big role that we need to pray and let us trust god that he will help us even to be able to to realize this and to make this a possibility and in conclusion i want to ask ask these three questions out of the five pieces that i have highlighted how how much does your biological dad or your alternative dad score am i score ngapi na je wewe out of whatever i have highlighted where are you ukijiweka kwa scale uko wapi where do you need to improve I want to ask you this as I conclude. What things do you need to stop doing for you to become a better man? What things do you need to continue doing for you to become a great man? What things do you need to start doing for you to be able to leave a legacy for your children? Remember, life is a classroom. All of us are learning and you have today to make a difference. Remember that uh, there's a quote that says the best time to plant a tree if you wanted to enjoy the shade today was 20 years ago now if you want to enjoy the shade of a tree 20 years to come the next best time to plant a tree it is today so as a man make the necessary adjustments as a man take that uncomfortable position make that uncomfortable decision and strive to become a better person god bless you so much thank you for watching I love you so much. Remember to subscribe to this channel and tune in for the next one. And please leave a comment, say what has blessed you, say what has learned. I will appreciate it will give me good feedback and review. Thank you very much and God bless you so much.